Hello, Loveland Magazine viewers. Cassie Mattia here in a new year for 2024, beginning of February. By the way, happy Black History Month. Had to say that. So we are doing our first table of discussions of the year with these unbelievable Loveland High School students. Um, they came to talk about something that they are involved in that we've covered quite heavily throughout the years, um, the Team Courage program. Now, I know you're on 5.0 now. Yes. Um, I remember my first one was 2.0 yeah. oh, wow. and they raised about 94 grand, I believe. Mm -hmm. Uh, pretty crazy. I'm sure you guys are going to kill it too. So, <laughs> so we have Lola Jones, Catherine Zirvos, right? Didn't want to botch that. And <laughs> Leah Schwab. Now, they are a part of the Student Visionaries of the Year campaign with the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, which really hits home for me because I've had, you know, people in my life touched by that, unfortunately. They're still around, though. Thank God, you know. But um, so... Let's kind of roll into it. Talk about what Team Courage is and why you three decided to be a part of this. And like I said, feel free to speak. Whoever wants to speak, just don't all speak at once. <laughs> but yeah, tell the community um, why you're doing this and what it is. So Team Courage is a part of a seven week campaign where we're competing against other schools in greater Cincinnati to raise the most money for blood cancer research mm. and treatment for patients. Um, we'll be doing fundraisers at various restaurants or just events in general. Um, I know my personal reason why I'm doing this is because my brother was on the first Team Courage team oh. and it was just a great experience for him overall and also my uncle had cancer and I've just seen the way it's affected his life. Um, he beat it luckily but... Heck yeah! yeah love to hear just, that. I don't know, it's a great cause and I love doing it. I so. love that. What about you? I am doing this because I unfortunately lost my grandma to cancer oh. and I am just very passionate about just the way cancer affects lives, uh, whether it be like for families or like even myself. I know that going through like that loss and even just seeing my grandma going through radiation and chemo it was like heartbreaking. So I want to be able to make a difference in uh, the way other families go through different losses or just various obstacles throughout their life um, and ultimately find a cure for cancer. And it's, and it's blood cancer research, am I correct yeah. on yes. that? Okay, okay. Yeah, and, yes. and what about you? Why are you getting involved? Obviously. I know why you guys are getting involved. You're good people, like, <laughs> but you know everybody is touched in a certain yes. way. So what? What's your story there? So my cousin Mark Newman passed away from AML leukemia a couple years ago, oh. and just seeing how it drastically changed my family's life and his children's life, knowing that I had this opportunity to make a difference and like help out all the other people going through just horrible, horrible times with this horrible disease. Just knowing I can make a difference means a lot. Well, and, and I, I am very sorry for your for your guys' loss. Um, you know, everybody wants something to be done with cancer. You know, mm -hmm. it's such a it's such a heavy hitting subject and very sad. Now, I know you guys are doing this until March sixteenth. Yes. So plenty of time there for everybody to get involved. Now, I, I do want to touch on how do you become a candidate for the student visionary of the year. Um, you know, did the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society kind of create this or did Loveland High School put their feelers out there and, and get in, how do you get involved and get selected? Yeah, so it is pretty much uh, through our school and we kind of made the team because a bunch of other schools around the area have a team for themselves and it's just based off their school. Uh, like teams like, or schools like St. X, they have two teams. So really whoever wants to make a team, they can, uh, but you can get involved by just finding the, the, can or the student visionaries, like one of us at your school. Um, and we got our role by talking to the student visionaries last year, Emma Steiner, Marcel Mangan, and Orhan Ozdadek. Mm -hmm. um, they ended up raising $214,000. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yeah. And they won the campaign. I would hope so. Yeah. Wow. Wow. And so they set the new Ohio River Valley. You got some big shoes to fill oh, there. Yes. <laughs> really big shoes yes. to fill. Um, but we had lots of conversations with them, and we knew what we were signing ourselves up for. <laughs> and like, uh, yeah, I think the three of us were both very passionate about wanting to 
do this even at the beginning of the campaign last year. Mm -hmm. So I think it was just something we all knew we wanted to do. And after talking with the three of them, it was just, it was, it was so a deal. Stone. Yeah. Yes. Jeez. So do you, do you fill out an application or you just come forth or how, how does that, how does that work? So they reached out to us. Oh, beautiful. We, we were very involved last year showing mm -hmm. up at all the different events for Team Curage 4.0. So they talked to our teacher advisor, Miss Rose, at the middle school. Um, so she reached out to us and the Leukemia Lymphoma Society board members, they sent us an email over the summer. And that's kind of when we started planning this whole thing. This whole campaign has been in the works since June. So Dang. Yeah. On top of your schooling mm -hmm. and if y'all yes. are involved with organizations, sports, that yeah. kind of thing, that's yeah. pretty amazing. Good resume booster too, yeah. might I add. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, let, let's let's kind of touch on LLS, which is the Leukemia and Lymphoma mm -hmm. Society. Mm -hmm. um, what can you tell me about that organization? Um, you know, why kind of be a part of that organization besides obviously your personal stories, but why that organization? I think LLS is just an amazing nonprofit overall, and I just feel as if cancer and specifically blood cancer affects so many people around the world. And we'll go to various events, and someone will tell us no to donating, but the next person will tell us the way it's affected their life, and they'll give us fifty dollars. Nice. Someone we've never seen before. Right. And so, I just think that it affects so many more people than you realize. Right. And it's just almost like a universal issue right. that everyone understands. And so I just believe it can touch so many people. Hey, great answer. Yeah. Do you want to add something you're about? Oh, yeah. I saw it. <laughs> I, um, I also think that LLS does a great uh, job of involving high schoolers because mm -hmm. I think there's so many other nonprofit like cancer organizations that a lot of times are kind of adult driven and mm -hmm. very uh, like towards like the older generations who probably have a bit more like background and knowledge about what cancer is and I just think it's so important that LLS uh, like targets people our age because I think it should be something that everyone can hear about and have like a good base of knowledge about because it's so important and it affects so many people. Yeah. Um, I also think it's a great leadership program. We've gotten so many mm -hmm. students and our peers involved and just teaching them all these different leadership skills and fundraising and how it's affecting other people and like how we are setting up all these different give back nights for different businesses. Just like learning how to get in contact with people and mm -hmm. just asking. I feel like that's the biggest thing. Just like mm -hmm. making sure you go out and you ask. Because the worst they can say is no. Amen. Yeah, Amen. For sure. And so two juniors and a senior. Yes. So so let's I, I wanna go into first, I have it right here. I took a snapshot, your fundraising event. So last night you were at Hops and Berries. Yes. You said it was packed. It was awesome. Yeah, yeah. That 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 makes me really happy. So obviously January is done. So we're done with those. <laughs> we have Bishop's Quarter on two four, two eleven, two eighteen, and two twenty five, right? Yes. We have Better Blend on 27, 214, 221, and 228. Don't worry, guys, this will be in the article. You don't have to memorize it. Tender Town, 213 and 227. Curito, 26. Tom's Coffee Truck, uh, that's going to be on, is that Valentine's Day? 214? Yes, yes, yes. Beautiful. Ooh, I love that. And then Cappy's on Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. And then Hops and Berries, you'll be back there on 2 8. Yes. yes. And then you have 3 in March. It looks like Bishop's Quarter again, 3 3 through 3 6, Kona Ice, and then a dodgeball tournament. Yeah. Yes. Tell me about that. That's awesome. It says what, 3 7? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. we are actually partnering with Tigers Inc., which is... Uh, oh, yeah, we know uh, about that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love them. So they are going to help us uh, just get together like with a dodgeball tournament. Mm -hmm. uh, and usually we have about like 12 to 16 teams come out and just have How fun. How fun is that? Dodgeball. Yeah. Is that at Loveland High School? Mm -hmm. Now, is, are people allowed to attend or right is now, it just in school? Right now it's students only. Okay. But mm -hmm. we're... Playing, we're uh, Debating having like a pickleball tournament and a Ooh, volleyball tournament. That would do well. Yeah. Pickleball. For like the public. Yeah. So, yep. Yep. Yeah. People love pickleball. They love it. Yeah. So donation wise, you can do it on the website, right? Yes. Now I know you have a link via Instagram bio. Mm -hmm. And so their Instagram is Loveland Team Courage underscore five point zero. Yes. yes. Is that correct? Yes. Is there any other ways they can donate or it's just on the website or coming to the events? 
Coming to the events, I would say, is like our number one thing. We raise so much money from that. Just we have split the pot. We have so many different businesses in Loveland that have been donating raffle baskets and just stuff that we can include in raffle baskets. So we're very thankful for that. And just that raises the most amount of money, I'd say, the biggest give back. Right, and uh, even the businesses that aren't necessarily your fundraising, they can reach out to you guys and give, you know, raffle baskets yeah. and all that kind of thing. Okay, great. That's good to know. And then what about people that can't get to these events? Is there a way for them to donate other than the website? Like, I know some people don't use the internet. Is there a way to, like, send a check or, like, how does how does that work? Yeah, so you can definitely send checks or find one of us for a cash donation. Okay. Um, cash donations actually help us a lot. Okay. So those are very useful, but we have various businesses who have sponsored us and are sending us checks. Okay. Not doing donations to our website, so. Okay, great. I love that. Um, to kind of finalize this beautiful interview, uh, tell me what your guys' plans are for the future. Obviously, you're already doing big things. I know a lot of students just go to school, right? They don't, yeah. they don't get involved in this kind of stuff, which is unfortunate but so uh, good job on on your guys's part so what are you what are your plans for the future i want to attend college at miami university and i want to study pediatric psychology oh nice yeah. what about you i think that i'll be at some school in ohio probably uc and i hope to study probably business administration oh that's a good one that's a good Thank one you. what about you um i'm a senior so i am already committed to the university of cincinnati and i'll be majoring in chemical engineering and then hopefully going back to get my MBA. Shoot. <laughs> Woo, you guys are smart. Dang. Um, now, I, I do want to touch on this, too. You guys are wearing T-shirts. Yes. Can yes. those be purchased, or how does that work? Yeah, so they can be purchased. We have a link that we have posted on our Instagram mm -hmm. where you can order them. Um, yeah. <laughs> they're small to extra large, and they're $15. What about the sweatshirts, too? The sweatshirts are just for us. Oh. Yeah. They were, <laughs> yeah. They're cute. They're, they're cute. They're, they were a gift from LLS. From oh, yeah. I love them. They yeah. are cute, though. But the, I, I, like I said, I like the graphic on that. 15 yeah. bucks. Looks, yep, soft. Yeah. <laughs> they're great. You should get one. Uh, now, is there anything else before we end the interview that you guys want to communicate to the community? Uh, anything else that I missed on... Um, I think just the main important thing is coming to events because that is really where we get to see really good community come through because we get to, we, we'll all be there at different events and it's just super fun to interact with everyone and kind of make connections with people yeah. mm -hmm. and like I love listening to people's stories yeah. and like just becoming more of a community um, and it's really like just going to dinner or whatever it's super fun especially if you're already there yeah, yeah. you know a lot exactly. a lot of those dates it, it, there's already going to be a huge crowd so yeah. might as well yes. yeah awesome well thank you guys for coming by i really appreciate it i hope this helps your journey your path um so what's the goal for this year obviously you said 214 yeah <laughs> so are we try and do 215 or like what, what, what are we doing here <laughs> right now our goal is a hundred thousand okay okay but i i think the three of us would love to get a to 150 because yes then we get to go on uh, a trip to New York Woo! and we get to attend different conferences mm -hmm. like with the Leukemia and Lymphoma mm -hmm. Society and just kind of grow our knowledge even more yeah. about. And we, I think we even get to go to a cancer research center. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, so. heck yeah. yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much uh, for tuning in here uh, to the Table of Discussions with Cassie Mattia and these awesome young ladies. And uh, good luck to you guys on, on your uh, campaign. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. All right. We'll see you all later.